know I did it started fuck 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 you This is on my dick kinda faded off my shoes I don't give a fuck about the movie I'ma come soon If you guys don't wanna watch this clip of me advertising my discord server merch and giveaway that I'm going to be hosting Then skip to this part of the video Alrighty boys your boy has finally got his discord server up and running If you guys haven't joined the discord server What are you doing Join it right now click the first link in the description Go to the verify channel once you're in the discord server and verify your discord And boom you're in the discord server boys That simple If you guys play beyond and you have a rank even if you have no rank in beyond And you still play beyond Go to this channel right here in the discord server All you have to do is take a screenshot of your character and beyond Make sure your rank is shown in the picture Even though you have no rank and it says no rank Take a screenshot and post a picture of your character anyways okay. and once you post it in that channel a mod will give you the correct role you deserve if you didn't cop the merch yet click the merch link in the description it's going to take you to this page that has all my merch cop up your boys plan to host a giveaway i don't know what i'm planning to give away yet might be robux might be something else i have to double check that it's okay for me to give away robux your boy isn't trying to get banned once i get the green light then the giveaway is definitely going to be robux Bruh. if not it might be something else if you guys want to enter the giveaway all you have to do is leave a like on this video Video and leave a comment you can leave any comment in the comment section below but make sure you have this hashtag in your comment in order to enter the giveaway and you also have to be subscribed if you're not subscribed you can't enter the Bruh. giveaway hey what is up guys it's your boy the summon to one back with another video and on today's video i'm going to be basically talking about shinobi life 2 the best upcoming naruto game that's coming to roblox if you guys don't know about it or never heard about it then continue watching this video if you're about to get your mind blown this game is gonna be the best i'm jacking it when i mean the best i mean the best Best, the greatest. I can't express myself, you know, boys. It's gonna be the greatest Naruto game on Roblox. So if you like anime games and you play Roblox and you like Naruto, you have to, you got to, you gotta keep updated with the progress and you have to at least give this game a try when it releases. If you don't, then it's gonna be a big L for you. You're gonna be missing out. That's a big loss, okay. you know what I mean? But yeah, without any further ado, boys, let's get right to the video. So, the creators of the new upcoming, the new best upcoming, I mean, Naruto game, have to have to put that best word, you know, in the sentence, you feel me, boys? Because it's going to be the best. You'll see what I'm talking about once I start playing the video. But yeah, like I was saying, the creators released a new video, movie. As you can see by the title, it's a movie, you know what I mean? And it's an hour long video filled with amazing content. So if you haven't watched this movie, what are you doing? Go watch it right now. Click the first link in the description. Watch the movie. Trust me, you won't regret it. It's gonna be worth it. They recently released an hour long video about the game. And on today's video, we're gonna be reviewing that video. I'm not going to review the whole video, obviously, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna make an hour long video just to review their hour long movie. I'm just gonna, you know, go to the parts that I think is important and that I think you guys should see and check out that I personally think is important, like I said, and cool, let's check out. So yeah, that's the parts I'm gonna be covering. The other parts I'm not gonna be covering, you guys can go check it out for yourself. Just click the first link in the description and watch the movie. I'm gonna play five minutes of the movie and Watch, watch y'all get hype. For the people that already watched the movie, y'all won't get hype. But for the people that didn't watch the movie for some reason, they're probably living under a rock or Bruh. something. Then continue watching the video and just watch how hype you'll get. Oh, intro looking clean. Pretty clean intro. Oh, Star Life. I used to love that game. I used to play that game every day. Check Shinobi out. Life 2 is a remaster of Shinobi Life, meaning that. So, if you guys haven't checked out Shinobi Life 1, the, f the, the first version of the game, this is basically a second version of their first, not first ever, their second ever Naruto game they created a while back, a few years ago. So yeah, if you guys didn't check out that game or never heard about it, go check it out, do your research. I highly suggest you guys don't go into this game without checking out their previous Naruto games. I highly suggest you guys play their previous Naruto games so you guys can get a hint of how this Shinobi Life 2 game is going to look like. Or not look like, but function. And yeah, basically function, you know what I mean? Because they, even though it's a new game, it's still going to have some similar features from their old Naruto games. So check out their old Naruto games to get familiar or to get a hint of how the Shinobi Life 2 game, the new best upcoming Naruto game is going to be looking like. 
But yeah, let's continue. So if you guys didn't check out that Shinobi Life game, the first version, go check it out. Highly suggest you do. And there are other Naruto games as well. All the game passes from Shinobi Life are transferring just without the pay to win features. Bro, aren't they the best developers? So if you guys played their previous Naruto games and bought game passes, you'll be getting those game passes in this new Naruto game. So you don't have to buy game passes in this new new Naruto game if you played their previous Naruto games and bought their game passes. So the game passes on this new Naruto game is going to be um, basically the game passes from their previous games and they're going to be adding no new game passes i think they might i don't i'm not really sure if they if they're planning to add new game passes in the future but for sure the game passes that are going to be dropping when the game drops are going to be the same game passes from their previous game so if you bought their previous game passes like i said you won't have to worry about buying any game passes when the game drops you'll have every game pass so that's pretty cool boys as developers i'm jacking it all right let's continue watching the video also if you bought game passes from beyond or shinobi origin they are transferring over to this game. Mm. We're rewarding you guys for supporting us for over the years. It means a lot. It really does. We're giving you guys a free game that we're focusing on gameplay over money. If we wanted to make money, we would just sell different game passes. But we're not going to do that. We want to focus heavily on gameplay especially within the community side mm -hmm. as the shinobi life is going to be exactly how shinobi life was the only reason why i'm playing this part specifically is because i want you guys to like i just want you guys to hear this part because the creators are really saying some important information that you'll need to know so yeah the rpg and i already explained it like i said they're basically telling you to check out their previous game it's going to be a similar this new game that they're working on shinobi life 2 is going to be similar to their previous games it's just going to be a remake so i highly suggest you check out their previous games that's what they're basically saying in the short clip and they're also talking about other things so just listen it is going to be exactly how shinobi life was the community is what i'm very excited for it's going to be open for everyone at first it's going to be very closed um because we're doing testing and different generations to get in and then it will be open for everyone to come and play the community is titled story within this game and it's going to have its own lore it's going to have its own characters and those characters build on the lore we have writers from every single villages that write lore within the village if you're into any community stuff and want to join a great community join us we're open community we welcome everyone we're not biased everyone is welcome you heard that boys so what he basically said is that this game is gonna have two modes story mode and a close community mode when this game first releases not a lot of people are gonna be able to get into the close community mode you're gonna be able to get into it somehow if you apply you have to apply but you gotta get lucky it's gonna be really hard to get into it when the game first releases but over time it's gonna be really easy to get into the community mode and like i said if you're really into role play then the community mode is perfect for you yeah the community mode is gonna be a cool feature a lot of people have been asking for that feature including me and i just can't wait you know what i mean i'm really hyped for the community mode that's one reason why i'm really really hyped for this game your boy talks so much sorry about that boys but yeah let's get right to the video when you first enter the game this cool intro comes up you feel me shinobi life 2 Ooh, this is the star menu right here pretty clean so every time you go to a different option it does a cool transition so pretty that's so cool that's pretty cool so yeah, as you can see, there's so many options you can pick from. This game has a lot, a lot of features, a lot of features to, you know, to pick from. So if you guys like games that have a lot of features, and if you love playing with your friends, and you know, don't have a game to play with your friends, or looking for a game to play with your friends on, then I highly suggest you check out this game when it releases, because this game is gonna be perfect, you know, to play with your friends. Their games are usually really, really fun when you play with your friends. When you play alone, it's still fun, but it's fun when you play with friends. So yeah, if you guys are planning to play their previous Naruto games or their new Naruto game, Shinobi Life 2, the upcoming one, then I highly suggest, you know, you get a squad or a team to, to play with you, it's gonna be better. But if you can't, 
We could play solo and still have fun. Check it out, boys. Check out the clothing. Pretty clean. They have so many clothing to pick from. So many options. Like as you can see, they're really, really putting so many, so much work into this game. Like 147, 48, 49, 50 options. 55, 56. Damn, bruh. They usually update their game like crazy, so they might be adding way more than that. So yeah, that's still a lot though. As you can see, they, like I said, they're really putting so much work and effort into this game. Man, this game looks so nice. Gives me that Shinobi Life vibe, you know what I mean? And also that NRPG vibe. Honestly, those were two, my two favorite Naruto games that they ever created. Shinobi Life and NRPG Beyond, in my opinion. But the other Naruto games are fun, don't get me wrong. But Shinobi Life and NRPG Beyond was, in my opinion, the funnest and best Naruto games they ever created. Hopefully, this is going to be their next best Naruto game. Ooh, check out this map right here. So, I'm guessing every time you die, this map pops up and you just click an area where you want to spawn or whenever you end to the game i think this map pops up and you just click an area where you want to spawn i think that's how this map is gonna function not really sure i'm just just guessing over here you feel me and there's the actual map looking pretty clean like i really like how they made the map not too detailed and also not you know doesn't look that bad just right in the middle i love it look how clean the map looks pretty clean boys and also, I really like their, um, what's it called, their artwork for their movesets, their Genkais. I like how they didn't detail it, you know, too much, like how they did with the map. So this is their UIs, artwork, whatever you want to call them, for their um, moves, Genkais. Looks pretty clean. And this is the artwork, UIs, that they made for the weapons in the game, looking pretty clean combat in this game is really nice in my opinion when i was watching this movie the scene where the brothers fought each other got me so hyped because of how fun it looked and also how detailed combat is if you really focus you can see that everything they have such as weapons ninjutsu etc is useful there's no specific overpowered move everything seems balanced balanced which i personally like most games and their previous games on roblox there's usually overpowered moves and weak moves, but this game's combat is looking like everything is going to be useful. This combat sword, not swords, um, weapons, ninjutsu, genkais, etc. But yeah, just watch the brothers fight for yourselves and see how clean combat is. Once the brothers finish fighting, I'm going to hop on Discord and show you a few Shinobi Life 2 leaks and then end the video. It's been your boy the Sun121. Peace out.